Thank you very much for being here. How are things going at Tesla Motors? Oh, uh, they're going really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You build uh, cars like this one right here. Yeah. This is uh, a, a Lotus of some description <laughs> with a with a electric motor in there. And how many of these have you sold? Uh, we've sold about uh, 1,300. 1,300. Yeah. And uh, this car is priced at about what? Uh, roughly $100,000. $100,000. Yeah. Now, uh, from looking at websites, I'm under the impression if a person wanted to buy an electric car in this country, this pretty much is the only highway-friendly electric car available. Yeah, th th we make the only car that would be considered sort of a real car right. where, you know, you can take it on the roads. And yeah, that, so that kind some of have like a, a range of 15 or 20 miles. They're like golf carts, more right. or less. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so why, uh, when your company decided that you wanted to do this as a, as a project, uh, you, you, you chose a sports car of about $100,000? Well, that, that's an excellent question. In fact, the, the goal of Tesla has always been to make mass market electric cars, even from the beginning. But when you have new technology, it takes time to make it uh, lower cost and, and, and mass market. You know, if you think of the early days of cell phones or, or laptops or any new technology, it starts off expensive. You remember that giant phone that the guy on Wall Street walked down the, the, the beach with and that was cutting edge technology? Well, it's the same thing with, with cars. So, um, in fact, anyone who, who does uh, buy the, the, the Tesla Roadster, the sports car, at $100,000 is, is helping pay for the development of the lower cost cars to follow. Um, and, and in fact, uh, you know, we've, we've recently announced our sedan, which right. is... But, that, but that'll be available when in uh, mass in, production? In, in, a, in a couple of years. In, in a couple of years. Yeah. But you, you mentioned new technology, uh, but to my way of thinking, the electric motor is not, not necessarily new technology. It's been around for nearly 100 years, hasn't it, really? Yeah, the, the electric motor is actually very old. And in fact, the, in the early days of, of uh, cars, it was a competition between gasoline cars right. and electric cars. Right. Um, and there was a range issue with, with electric cars. Mm -hmm. And so gasoline ended up winning out. Uh, but now that with the advent of lithium-ion uh, uh, batteries, uh, we can now address the range issue. So the, the, the real breakthrough is the batteries then, how, how, to store, how to store that electricity. Yeah, it's the single biggest breakthrough. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I, I remember uh, like the, the 15 years ago, there were uh, General Motors was making the EV1 or Saturn was making right. the EV1. And it was an electric car that was uh, in California and there, was a, there were a thousand of them on the road. So again, the idea that we have an electric car is not a breakthrough. We had electric cars, and to my way of thinking, we should be so far ahead of this curve, uh, much farther ahead than we are now. For what reason? Why, why don't we have more electric cars today? Well, there, there was a great movie, Who Killed the Electric Car by Chris Payne, which I think explores that, that question. And it's noteworthy in that, in that movie um, that uh, Chris shows how much people really wanted that, that EV1 car. Um, in fact, they wanted it so much that w when the cars were forcibly taken away from them and crushed in, in a, you know, they weren't actually destroyed, they were right. actually crushed, the, the, the people who had, who had had those cars held a candlelit vigil mm -hmm. uh, for the destruction of those right. cars. Now, when's the last time you heard anyone doing a, a candlelit vigil for, for destruction of, of any product, let alone a General Motors product? Well, there'd be one after the... <laughs> He went after the show for my voice. Uh, let's just say that you, you charge this electric car. Yes. And you charge it uh, on your outlet at home, and it's a, from a coal-fired power plant that supplies the grid. Are, are you polluting, are you adding more CO2 by taking electricity from a coal-fired power plant or burning gallons of uh, gas in your internal combustion engine? Actually, e even if 100%, even if 100 percent of the, the, the electricity comes from coal, uh, the Tesla Roadster, which is a sports car, produces less CO2 per mile than a Toyota Prius. Uh -huh. um, so, and, and of course, uh, in, in many parts of the country, coal is less than half of, of the power. And as we go over time, we're going to have to move to renewable uh, right. energy generation. Right. But when you say over time, I mean we are so far beyond over time. This, this should yeah. have been taken care of, or taking place 20, 30 years ago, right? It, it, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think we were sort of lulled into complacency with a temporary uh, drop in, right. in the, the price of oil, um, but that's, that's going to come back to horn us in a major way. But when you, when you take a look at the, uh, the economy and the circumstance of General Motors and uh, Chrysler and Ford, what if uh, the electric car movement had not been killed off 20 years ago and uh, every company had now a, vi a viable electric car? Would, would that be a means of keeping these factories open today? Would that be a means of uh, further research and development and, and greater employment and, and greater marketing and, and showrooms and, and uh, all of the accessories that need to accompany an electric car? 
I think it, it's fair to say that with the benefit of, of hindsight, uh, General Motors probably wishes they had done an EV2 and an EV3 following the EV1 rather than um, sort of crushing them in, yeah. yeah. But um, it, it, doesn't it make you a little angry that we're all pretending like, whoa, we got an electric car? It, it's, it's like, you know, nobody landed from Mars here. <laughs> like you <laughs> said, we, we, Mars. <laughs> we, we had electric cars at uh, the turn of the century, 1900s, right? Yes. So, I mean, it, it's frustrating to me. Isn't it frustrating to you? It, it is frustrating. In fact, the reason I put so much time and energy and, and of, of my, my own financial resources into helping create Tesla was to try to spur that electric car revolution. I, I really thought that the... Uh, the in incumbent car companies would, would do this, and there wouldn't be any, any need for, right. for a new car company to try to do this. But, but it turns out there was, and, and I'm glad for it, because now, now that we, we have the Tesla Roadster, uh, you know, General Motors actually, uh, you know, Bob Lutz, General Motors, kind of have to credit Tesla with uh, the, 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 the inspiration for the, the, the Volt. You know that they're coming out with the plug-in yeah, hybrid the, the volt. The volt has a range of 40 miles. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that'll get you down the driveway and back. I'm gonna go pick up the paper. Take the electric car. Call me if there's trouble at the curb. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. I mean, 40 miles is the range on the volt. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. And General Motors yeah. is all, oh boy, you know, like Jennifer Garner's voice. Oh boy, we got the, we got the electric car, 40 miles. I mean, that's crap. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> oh, we'll be right back with Elon Musk, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. I was talking to... Uh, uh, Elon Musk uh, during the commercial and he says from now on for every electric car they sell he'll throw in his new fragrance Elon Musk so yeah. I mean Dave I can't thank you enough for yeah. plugging this product go uh, crazy <laughs> now uh, I, I have I, 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 I have driven one of your, your cars and, and I must say in the beginning I was a skeptical and, and nervous I think like everybody else because you think electric car this is for guys in Topanga Canyon selling sprouts uh, but the, the thing is uh, is bulletproof I mean you, you can drive the wheels off the thing and and I honestly I thought the first time I would charge the electric car that my house would catch fire <laughs> that that didn't happen and and it, yeah. could, it couldn't be more safe uh, and the, the thing it goes like That's a bat it. out of hell and but it irritates me that 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 people who might be interested now because very, honestly very few people are gonna spend the money to buy that car as, as slick as that car is yeah but it does kind of call attention to the product, doesn't it? A absolutely. Um, and it was important for us to, al to also show that an electric car can be a great car, mm -hmm. uh, that it can compete in its own right against gasoline cars. Um, so we wanted to make sure that it was, it was a, we made a sports car that even if it wasn't electric, it would still be a, a great car to buy and compete against Between other cars. you and me, the first time I drove it, I was worried that it would magnetize my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that's, this is the sedan, is that right? Yeah. And you know those, those free fuel cell cars, that's a load of crap too. You know, oh, hydrogen, it's going to make its own hydrogen. You can right. do it and it'll be right there. Well, they're talking about 20 years from now, right. maybe 20 years from now. So I think that these automobile companies, and it couldn't be a worse time for them to be doing this, are just shining people on. Because if they were actually working on technology that was going to be in showrooms, they wouldn't have to be closing down plants and filing for bankruptcy. Right. <laughs> Uh, take a look. Uh, 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 this is, uh, thank you very much. That's a beauty. That is, that is gorgeous. And this, this thing is uh, available in two years. How much will this cost? Uh, this will have a starting price of $49,900. Well, there's, there's one very important point worth making about this car. If, if you ever read, I, I'll take you later if you want to. <laughs> there's, there's a very important point. Oh, God, turn it off! Ah! 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 Oh, I've been electrocuted! Ah! 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 <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you so very much for being here. We'll be right back with the Manchester Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen.